Air and temperature are two things that we have to maintain in our house for health and comfort. I have air conditioners in my bedrooms and uh, electric fans in various areas of the house. My kitchen has a rain suit and this is complemented with the exhaust fan in my staircase where hot air usually accumulates during cooking. I also have uh, air purifiers and recently I bought this mini dehumidifier. Will this be enough or I need large unit to effectively reduce humidity in my house? If you are new to this channel, please subscribe as a sign of support and click that notification bell. In the United States, there's a HVAC system that ensures the quality of indoor air and temperature. HVAC means heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Even if we don't have winter here in the Philippines, we can still adopt HVAC. Instead of heating for each, we can change it to humidity. We can simply define humidity as we feel it. It's humid. In the Visayan language, it's uh, omog. In Tagalog, it's halumigmig. First time to hear that word. Akala ko ang Tagalog ng humid is uh, masalimo. I thought of having a sentence na nga eh. To describe relationship. Parang sasabihin ko, our relationship is humid. <laughs> <laughs> there are ways to bring down humidity to a comfortable level either by natural way or using products or devices like dehumidifiers the humidifier is an air conditioning system because it involves processing the indoor air to make indoors comfortable this unit is a condensate dehumidifier since it uses a refrigeration cycle to collect water from the air there's also a desiccant dehumidifier that absorbs water from the air by bonding moisture with materials such as silica gel. Kagaya nito, usually makikita natin to sa mga shoe boxes. Huwag nyo tong itapon um, because ito ay nag absorb ng moisture from the box or from the shoe cabinet. Mga devices also, mga electronic devices ay meron ding ganito. Meron ding ganito na merong water catchment. It's also a... Uh, dehumidifier, makikita nyo, mababasa niyan, dehumidifier, at saka may tubig na siya, tingnan mo, okay, pwede ito ilagay sa mga cabinets, okay, sa mga shoe boxes, para yung shoes nyo ay walang umog, okay, walang halumigmig, okay, <laughs> so, makikita nyo, yung disikant niya, na matutunaw siya, konti na lang yung disikant dito, matutunaw siya, at saka magbabagsak dito ang, ang moisture yung tubig, Okay, sa tank niya. So, the same principle applied to this uh, device. It sucks hot air from the air and process the hot air by removing the water and release the dry air back to the room. Kaya sa likod ng dehumidifier na ito, meron siyang water collection tanks which you have to empty um, regularly. Ang mga regular size na dehumidifier ay merong drain hose dito sa likuran. So, hindi mo na kailangan na um, itapon yung tubig sa tanke. Eh. Kasi diretso na siya sa hose yung tubig na uh, makukuha ng dehumidifier from the air. Yung air conditioning unit natin, humihigop rin ng hot air, process it, and return a cold air to the room. Kaya malamig. Kaya para sa iba, air conditioning unit na lang ang gagamitin to lower humidity. Kaso, it's expensive to operate an air conditioning system for a longer time. Although, there are also large dehumidifiers for an entire house. In most cases, ginagamit yung portable lang na ang size ay parang air purifier. But mind you, mas mahal per se ang dehumidifier kaysa air conditioning unit. Take for example, this Xiaomi Media Smart Dehumidifier cost 20,000 to 25,000 pesos. It's a 22 liter dehumidifier, meaning its water collection tank has a 22 liter capacity. Its power is 450 watts, more than half of a one horsepower AC unit. Pero, isang 1 horsepower na AC ay nasa 12,000 to 14,000 pesos lang compared to this dehumidifier na 450 watts lang but 20,000 to 25,000 pesos ang presyo. In the long run, you can save on the humidifier than air conditioning unit when it comes to controlling humidity at home. 
Meron ako nakita na medium size dehumidifier, carrier ang brand at nasa over 10,000 pesos lang ang price. 12 liters lang yung capacity niya at half din ng power ng Xiaomi at 240 watts. Ito namang binili ko ay nasa 1,599 pesos lang ang presyo. Di ba mura lang? But its water tank capacity ay less than 1 liter lang, 850 ml to be exact, because this is a portable unit. Ang power nito ay nasa 22 watts lang. So in 24 hours, 528 watts lang ang power consumption nito or you're going to pay about 5 pesos a day. Ikumpara mo sa Xiaomi na 450 watts, in 24 hours ang babayaran mo sa kuryente ay nasa at least 100 pesos a day. Yung career naman ay nasa 57 pesos a day. But ang tanong, is this enough in our homes to address the humidity problem? Mas kailangan ba natin ang mas malaki na dehumidifier? Maybe it depends upon the condition of your house. Since ito ay maliit, ang dehumidification capacity in 24 hours ay nasa 300 ml lang, meaning it can remove up to 300 ml of water from the air in a day. Although, the tank capacity niya ay hanggang 850 ml. On the other hand, yung Xiaomi ay abot talaga sa 22 liters a day ang kanyang dehumidification capacity while the carrier unit is only at about 1.2 liters, bali 4 times lang sa mini dehumidifier na ito. Sabi ng Xiaomi, yung unit nila can be used in the entire house by transferring from one room to another room. So, ganun na lang siguro ang gagawin kaysa gagamit ka pa ng higanting uh, dehumidifier for your entire house. So, the same thing gagawin ko for this dehumidifier since this is a desktop mini dehumidifier and it only has a dehumidification area of up to 20 square meters. This dehumidifier is an OAM or Original Equipment Manufacturer item. Wala akong nakitang brand na nakalagay sa manual niya at even on the device itself. Walang markings except the manufacturer details that say this is manufactured in Zhenzhen City, the Silicon Valley of China. This is marketed and sold by Purefit on their online store. This is only about 240 mm or less than 10 inches in height and the body is a square 130 mm by 130 mm or about 5 by 5 inches. Again, maliit lang the humidification area nito. This is suitable for living room, bedroom, study room, and other similar in area. Gumamit ito ng filter module for its cooling system. Filter module is a thermoelectric device used as a replacement to compressors. It is energy efficient for small cooling devices like portable coolers and can extract water from air in the humidifiers. Since it is using filter module, ang kuryente kailangan nito ay nasa 9 volt DC lang. Ang blower nito ay isang DC electric brushless motor pero medyo maingay kaya I transferred it from my desk to the shelf. Mas maingay pa to kaysa Xiaomi Air Purifier for Light na nasa good air quality ang status. This unit is not smart but somehow meron siyang kunting automation like at nagblink na rin tong kanyang uh, pilot light indicating that uh, the tank is already full and it already stops <laughs> din na siya nag-operate automatic siya mag-stop pag puno na yung tubig para hindi tayo uh, mag-flooding sa bahay It uses a floater, a mechanical device that is usually used in water tank to automatically close and open water valve. But it has no auto power on state function. After outages, you have to manually restart the device. Hence, you can't plug this to a smart outlet for power on or off automation. However, kung ilagay mo to sa bedroom and you don't want to be distracted by the light while in your sleep, you can... Uh, put this into night mode just press long press for three seconds and mag turn off yung uh, lights yeah and if you turn it again you just again press long press for three seconds the air intake nito ay nasa likuran itong grill dito and The output ng air ay andito sa itaas. 
parang ang purma nito ay air purifier. In my first run of the device for 3 hours, ang tubig na nakuha nito from the air ay nasa 1 fourth of an inch na yung level niya. I stayed it on the whole night and this is what happens. After overnight, the dehumidifier only catches about one fourth of uh, water so it means it is equal to the th first three hours that I use this device while uh, I place this on my desk so in short depende talaga sa location ang paglagay ng uh, dehumidifier but I will still try to look to locate or place this uh, device in another location and my uh, humidity based on the uh, air purifier or Xiaomi air purifier measurement is still at 85% another one fourth of an inch of water is added to the tank in the third location but it's only for three hours so I decided to let the dehumidifier stay on my rack the whole day until the device reaches its first 24 hours of operation and the water measurement is one inch level or about one fourth of the water tank so more or less the mini dehumidifier was able to extract at least 200 ml of water from the air remember the rated dehumidification capacity of this device is 200 ml to 300 ml a day the measurement is based under the condition of 30 degrees celsius in temperature and air and the relative humidity is at 80 percent after 48 hours, the water level in the tank is at a little less than 2 inches or about half of the tank. So ito na after more than 3 days, siguro mga 80 hours, napuno na ang uh, kanyang uh, water collection tank. Madali lang naman tanggalin tong tank niya. Uh, be sure lang na naka-off yung unit. In this case, tinanggal ko talaga yung cord. Wala siya dito. Uh, so... Uh, meron siya itong handle just pull that out and matanggal na ang tanke naman be careful lang para, para hindi mag overflow yung tubig okay anyway may cover naman siya actually <laughs> okay yun so makikita nyo ganun siya kung i-measure natin uh, it's about uh, it's 3 inches lang ang tubig Tingnan nyo. It's about 3 inches. So, di talaga siya puno. Uh, pero nag-stop na yung uh, machine. Automatically, nag-stop siya. We have to empty this tank para maka-resume siya ng operation. Uh, meron siyang floater. Ang floater niya, I don't know kung makikita nyo. Mamaya, tanggalin ko. Ito yung floater. Kita nyo? Mi kumikilos ya. That's the floater. It's mechanical device. Yung palaging makikita natin sa mga water tank. Pag mapuno na siya, ah uh, syempre mag mag-close ang valve kasi naka-up yung floater. Okay. Lumulutang na yan kaya pangalan floater. Okay. Now, dito naman yung uh, opening uh, valve niya para itanggalin natin yung tubig, okay? At dito naman yung uh, daanan ng tubig mula doon si mismo sa device. So, dito tumutulo ang tubig. Um, binuksan ko talaga siya para makita natin ang loob. Ito, uh, wala na siya talagang laman. Um, ito yung floater niya. So, kung walang, kung walang tubig, ganun siyang itsura. Okay? Pag, uh, okay? Pag uh, may tubig na siya, syempre, aanga to. At mag-off automatically yung device at magbiblink yung pilot light. But the question is, paano niya malaman ng device na puno na yung tanke? Kung ganito lang. Wala, wala, wala tayong nakita ng ano, di ba? Walang wire, wala lahat. Pero, dito, kung titignan nyo, makikita mo yung black na yan. That's a magnet. Tingnan mo. Oh, magnet yan, no? Oh. Yung screw. Yung screw. Oh, naka-attaching screw. Okay? That's a magnet. Maybe, sa ilalim nito, meron siyang corresponding din na metal or magnet ba na nag-connect itong uh, magnet dito. So, kung mag-touch siya doon, kung naka-up siya, it means na puno na yung tanke. 
So ito na guys, um, tinanggal ko actually, so I ring this off. Yung loob niya, it's a very simple device, device, so tingnan mo, ito yung pinaka main parts niya. And uh, makikita mo dyan yung panel, yung circuit board, that's the controller, connected yan doon sa switch, okay? So that's the controller, but the main heart of this device is this one, okay? Now, makikita mo dito, may circuit na konti, yun ang sinabi ko na connected siya doon. Siya yung magdetect sa magnet doon sa uh, water tank, okay? Ito siya, okay? Kung makikita nyo, yan, that's the, that's the circuit na... Kung sisilipin natin, kasi hindi natin tumatanggal ang heatsink, naka-thermal naka paste to siya sa, naka-thermal paste to sa uh, Peltier module. Kung sisilip, sisilipin na lang natin, try natin masilip uh, ito. Okay. Sa dyan, makikita mo, manipis lang yung Peltier module. This side is the cold side of the filter module kasi yung filter module dalawang uh, sides siya pero yung kabilang side niya is iba-ibang temperature yung isang side is cold air yung isang side naman is hot air dito ang cold air dito yung intake ng hangin dito siya sa grill na ito okay then papasok ang hangin mula sa paligid pagpasok dito then yung filter module yung hot side niya is dito siya nakatatas sa heat sink na ito at mamainit yung heat sink na ito then yung hangin na mainit yung dry air na na, na hangin is bino-blow pa palabas ng uh, blower na ito okay so yun lang ang process na pinaka napaka simple lang siya okay kung na notice niyo isa lang yung fan sa loob ng uh, dehumidifier na ito at yung fan ay nasa side na hot ng uh, filter module yung sink na hot at ang yung blower na yon ay siya yung nagre-release ng dry air back to our room yung malamig naman na uh, or yung hangin mula sa loob ay hinihigop dito sa side nito but actually hindi siya hinihigop because wala ang fan na uh, separate para sa intake na air. So yung hangin galing sa loob, yung hangin na merong tubig na siya yung dahilan sa humid na condition ay kusang papasok dito sa grills na nito. Okay? Now, kung titingnan natin sa loob, itong sink na ito ay cold. Malamig to siya. So pagpasok ng hangin mula sa paligid dito at tatama dito sa cold na sink, in natural, mayroong mangyaring condensation. Pag may condensation, iparang ulan. Tutulo yung tubig. Kaya, mayroong tutulo na tubig to the tank mula dito sa sink. Kasi yung hangin mula sa labas, tumama dito sa sink na cold na siya. So, may mangyayari na condensation at yung uh, tubig ay tutulo sa tanke. So, yun ang explanation. So, hindi ko nakita yung ibang, yung mga malalaki or yung middle uh, size na dehumidifier kung anong setup na. But nang nalalaman ko is, um, they're using not filter uh, module for cooling, but ang gumamit sila talaga ng compressor. So, mas malaki, mas malakas ang performance niya. By the way, for those of you who really don't have enough understanding about humidity, maraming videos sa YouTube with expert explaining about it. In layman's explanation, ang humidity ay ang capacity ng hangin to store water. Pag sinasabi na 50% yung humidity, it means the air is holding water 50% of its capacity. However, magdepende ang capacity sa indoor temperature kaya ang tawag ay relative humidity. The higher the temperature is, the higher also the humidity. Pag warm ang air, it has the capacity to hold a lot of moisture. Kaya sabi ko kanina, ang madaling solusyon ng humidity ay gagamit ng air conditioning unit. Ang tanong, do we really need to control humidity at home? Yes. First of all, kung mataas yung humidity, the feeling is damp, malakit yung skin mo, and your hair is frizzy, parang walang ligo. 
And most importantly, humidity affects our health because mold may grow in our homes and allergens like pollen and other pollutants can be trapped in our homes because humidity makes the air stagnant. The ideal humidity is between 30 and 60 percent. Yung ibang experts ay nagsabi naman na between 40 and 70 percent. Humidity is measured by a hygrometer. If you have a digital thermometer at home, most likely meron na siyang kasamang humidity monitor just like my Xiaomi Air Purifier for Light. Kailangan lang i-control ang humidity level kasi pag mababa rin, it will cause your house to dry and it will also affect your health and it will cause nose bleeding, dry skin, chapped lips, dry throat and nose. At madali lang naman mapataas ng humidity yung pagluluto or boiling water and mag-hot shower at yung init ng banyo ay papalabas sa bathroom contribute to higher humidity. Ito yung observation ko sa paggamit ko nitong mini dehumidifier for the past 3 days. Pang fourth day ko ngayon. Um, medyo nabawasan konti yung humid condition dito sa area ko sa living room. Dati, talagang malagkit na malagkit yung skin ko. May mga may oras na talagang malagkit na malagkit. Then, kung titingnan ko yung humidity sensor doon sa air purifier ko, eh, nasa 80 plus, 82, 84, ganun, or 78. Medyo mataas talaga ang humidity. Now, yung gumamit ako nito, nawala yung, ano, hindi yung, uh, nabawasan ko te, kundi yung uh, humidity. Pero kung titingnan mo yung humidity sensor ay nasa more than 70 pa rin yung humidity level. Hindi ako talaga bumaba pa sa 70. So siguro this is only for a small room kasi 20 square meters lang tong uh, capacity niya, yung area niya. Yung living room ko is 20 square meters, uh, at least 20 square meters. Pero yung buong ground floor ko ay... More than double the size of my living room. Then, wala tong masyadong division. So, wala nga ka block. It's open. So, syempre, <laughs> open lahat. Okay? Siguro, yung humidity sensor ko sa air purifier, ay yung measurement niya ay sa buong ground floor ko. Kaya, uh, ang reading doon ay parang walang nangyari. Kunti lang ang nabawas. Hindi talaga bumaba bi below 70. Nasa o over 70 pa rin siya. But, uh, siguro kung ilagay mo to sa ma maliit na room uh, Effective siya But I cannot put this in my bedrooms Because sa bedrooms naman ay may air conditioning units <laughs> So, walang silbi to okay? So, dapat dito lang sa area Na wala siyang uh, Air conditioning unit Another observation is If you put your hand in, at the back of the device Dito sa my air intake niya Mapipil mo yung konting malamig na hangin so, ito yung hangin mula sa condensation. Okay? So, as I've said, yung hangin sa paligid, pumapasok dito sa air intake. Pumapasok siya, kusang pumapasok kasi wala tong exhaust or wala tong fan na nag-absorb uh, uh, ng hangin. Basta kusang lang pumasok dito sa um, device yung hangin. At saka pag tumama na siya doon sa may... Um, sink na naka sa cold side ng filter module, magkocondensate siya. So, yung tubig, tutulo siya dito sa tanke. But the air, yung cold air na, dito pa rin lumalabas sa air intake. Kung mapipil mo kasi. So, hindi siya lumalabas dito sa output sa air niya. Kasi dito, supposedly, ang dehumidification process, pagpasok ng air doon sa device, mag-extract ang device ng water pagkatapos yung air na wala ng water ay lalabas as dry air dito sa output niya. But dito, ang lumabas dito na dry air is yung galing sa heat sink na naka-attach doon sa hot side ng filter module na binublow ng exhaust fan. Kaya medyo mainit dito. So hindi to siya ang air na galing dito sa labas na na condensate dito sa cold side sa filter module. So medyo talo tayo sa <laughs> process ng dehumidification dito. Okay. For me, hindi to ang tamang dehumidification process kasi as I've said, ang dehumidification process ay yung hangin na papasok sa loob ng device ay mag-extract ang device ng water then yung air na wala ng water o dry air sa ipapalabas dito sa uh, output niya. Okay? Just like the air conditioning system na ihigop siya ng hangin, yung hangin ay uh, 
dadaan ang process, then the same air na lalabas din pabalik sa room. Okay? Ito, siguro yung mga malalaki na uh, dehumidifier is using compressor, talagang ganun ang process. The, uh, it follows the, the dehumidification process. But ito, using a filter module, as I've noticed, hindi siya uh, dumaan doon sa tamang dehumidification process. If you have questions about this device, please comment below and I will attend to it as soon as I can. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet and click that notification bell. Dagan salamat ako si Jun Tariman, Hightech Tawain.